everyone, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest .blogspot .com. and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful little shabby chic Christmas tags. These were a lot of fun and I think you're really going to enjoy them. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I made them. Okay, so to begin with I want to let you know that I'm not affiliated with this company in any way shape or form and I'm not receiving any compensation whatsoever so I just wanted to let you know that right away this is just something I purchased that I'm enjoying and I want to share that with you okay so um, I did purchase this on Amazon for $21.99 and um, it was free shipping for me because I have Prime and I received it the very next day okay they do have a similar punch at Hobby Lobby but that is $25 I don't know how well it punches I can only speak for the one that I purchased on Amazon I will share the link on my blog at happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com just scroll down past all my free patterns and when you see pictures of this project then um, you'll know the link is right there okay so um, with that said I'm going to show you the sizes now this is the two and a half inch tag right here in the middle this is the two inch tag this is the one and a half inch tag now when I first purchased this I have to tell you that I thought it was going to cut out the entire tag but it doesn't. It only cuts the top and it leaves the length up to you and I really like that because with some projects you need longer tags or shorter tags depending on what you're putting on your tag, right? So I used this glitter cardstock that I'm really enjoying. I shared this with you before. It's by Pen and Gear. You can buy it at Walmart. And it is um, the Shed Free White Glittered Cardstock. It's called Diamond Print Glitter. And it's 104 pounds. You get 10 sheets. Okay. And you can um, print on this with your inkjet printer if you want. But I really like this. And it doesn't seem to do any damage to um, the punch which is nice as well. Um, I'm going to be working with a one and a half inch width and what you do is you cut a strip of paper or this cardstock I should say um, to the appropriate width tag that you want and so I cut it at the width of one and a half inches across. Okay. Now you noticed um, it also punches out a little hole right here at the top and this hole is embossed so I want the embossed part to show up on the front of the tag so I'm going to flip this strip of paper over okay now you will see that there are like little stair steps here and that's just to help you guide your paper strip now you're going to um, slide the paper strip down the middle and you can tell because it's in there and when you um, feel it stop like that then don't push it any further of course you can feel it stop just hold on to it press the lever and there you go and see it's embossed as well now you're going to do two of these for each tag All right. now you can cut these at any length you want but for me personally, I liked the three inch length. So just take your paper cutter, and I'm cutting it at three inches right here. And we have one of them. So I'm going to do the same thing, because like I said, I want two, and I'm going to glue them back to back. So I'm going to put this paper in upside down, gently slide it in and then it stopped so I'm going to hold it press the lever and there we go
taking my paper cutter, measuring this at three inches again. Here we go. Like that. All right, so now, now all we're going to do is glue this back to back with a beacon fabric tack. I like using that because it doesn't cause it, the paper to wrinkle, which is nice. And I like to let this sit overnight. Just make all your bases the day before, the night before I should say. And um, just let them dry because when the glue hardens, it becomes, this base becomes very hard and um, like cardboard. Okay, just make sure it's nice and even. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, all right, and I'm going to be making more bases in um, different widths, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I'm working on my little three inch snowflakes and um, I'm making them just a very light pastel pink with um, the iridescent glitter and I use different uh, sizes coarse ultra fine uh, chunky you know just mix them together and I think that a light blue or like an ice blue would also look pretty I have tried using the darker glitters and I'll tell you that personally, um, you may not feel this way, but personally I feel like it cheapens the look. So I try my best to stick with a very, very uh, light pastel color. Now um, what I used was this triple thick here and I put some triple thick in a separate cup so I wouldn't dip my finger in and out of the jar. and contaminate the jar with glitter. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a fairly good amount on here because I want the glitter to stick. Just do that all the way around. Okay. So I'm gonna set this aside. Wipe my finger. Alright. <clears throat> I'm using a little of this um, Recollections glitter and blush. And the Recollections brand is sold at Michael's, I know. And I'm just gonna lightly sprinkle that. And then I have some uh, pink and iridescent white glitters that I just kind of um, mixed it all up together and just, you know, shook it up. I did that for another project. And here's the Recollections Chunky Glitter in Glitz. I know that's a huge bottle, but I picked this up a while back um, at Michael's. So, you know, I'm just mixing it with different things. I think um, this would be beautiful in a an icy blue color as well. Okay. So, um, I'm going to allow this to dry. Okay. And when it's completely dry, then we'll use this to make some beautiful tags with. Okay, so to start our project, I'm taking some of this pretty lace that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, and it's $8.99 a yard, but I only asked for a fourth of a yard because that's all I need. I like to play with this on small projects, so this cost me under $2. Um, just for this one fourth yard, okay? So you're going to take your tag 
And the first thing you're going to do is use this um, Beacon Fabri-Tac on here. And I'm just going to focus on the very edges right here. I'm not blobbing it on, I'm just putting a little bit. But the edges are important because it's not so much the middle that you're going to need all the glue on. You want it on the edges so the lace won't lift off. Okay? Okay, so now I'm going to come in here. I'm not going to put a ton of glue in the middle. I'm just going to maybe put four or five dots like that, small dots. Okay, so now we're going to take our lace and make sure it's the right side because one side is shinier than the other. Yeah, we're on the shiny side, so that's good. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> I had to double check. Alright. And you're just going to lay it down. I'm going to do this with both tags. And just gently tap like this. Your scissors and by the way I think this is this fabric here this lace is 40% off you might want to and if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you you might want to check their website um, maybe search with the words floral lace fabric or something like that. Okay. Now we're going to allow this to dry and then we're going to flip this over and lean the blades of our scissors against the tag and cut this off like this. But we're going to let it dry first. I'm just giving you a rough idea of what we're going to be doing. All right. All right, so I'm going to allow this to dry, and then I'll come back and, and do the rest. Okay, so uh, I finished several of these little tags. So we're going to do the one here that um, we started. And I'm just leaning my scissors right against the edge here. And just cut off any extra like this. That'll that'll help your cutting process. Just leaning the blades of my scissors right along the edge. Don't worry if you can't get into the tight corners right now. We'll come back and I'll show you how I did that. And just take your time with this because um, it will look very nice when you're finished. Now, as you can see, there's a few little fuzzies, I call them, along the edges. And you're just going to go back in and clean it up a little. Just make sure that you turned the tag over to do that. It'll be very difficult to do that from the front. You have to do it from the back. And I'm wiping off the fuzz. <laughs> now along here, 
there might be some tight corners so you just do this you just clip it and then go in from the opposite side and clip that okay same here and when you turn it over in the front it'll look nice now on the inside here well let me get this too I just noticed that okay so on the inside you're gonna have of course some of the lace but that's not a problem we're gonna turn it over on the front this time and we're just gonna snip this out don't go past the, the circle that has been punched out because you don't want to see anything missing and I'm just turning my tag as I'm cutting and there you go okay and you might see a fuzzy here and a fuzzy there that's okay take your time all these little things like that um, will make your tag look beautiful once you're finished just taking your time with it and cutting off the fuzzies so as you can see there's a real pretty shine through that lace you can see the paper that we use the cardstock the diamond cardstock okay so I've done this with several tags so we'll get started on the fun part decorating them okay so to start with you're going to want to place some trim down here and so since we're making this um, uh, shabby chic snow type theme I found a couple of trims in my stash that I bought from Hobby Lobby the first one is this little um, white miniature pom-pom trim you could glue that behind like this at the bottom and these would look like little snowballs okay and you can pick this up at Hobby Lobby for $2.99 or wait for their half price sale that happens with all of the trims and ribbons and tool in the fabric department for half off and um, you get three yards of this or you can use this these are little pearls but kind of reminds me of um, icicles and you can get this at Hobby Lobby for a regularly priced $1.99 for nine feet or you can wait for their half price sale and pick this up for half that okay so today I think I'm going to be using this all right and I'm going to start by making sure there's a big pearl at the beginning and then kind, kind of measure it from there yeah so I would cut it right here because if it starts with a big pearl you want it to end with a big pearl otherwise it'll look kind of awkward on there okay and once again I do apologize for my voice <laughs> but if I was to wait until my voice is better um, that would mean that I couldn't put up any YouTube tutorials and I don't want to miss any of those okay just lay it down like this it 
turn it over, make sure that the little white pearls in between are peeking out just like that. And be careful when you do this because you don't want to push it down too far and then have this at the top that's holding everything together show in the front. You don't want to look, you don't want it to um, do that because it'll look tacky. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And um, when this dries, we'll be back. And it shouldn't take long. Okay, so I just started with the rhinestones on the little snowflake that we made. And I'll finish this up here with you. I used the little pink 4mm rhinestones that you find at Walmart. And they have this bottle hanging up above where all the spools of ribbon are. Okay? And so what I did was I just took a teeny tiny bit of Fabri-Tac and I went like this. There's one. I'm doing it just at the tips. Barely putting any. And you notice how I'm kind of spinning the tip around? It's so the stringy glues, uh, the stringy glue pieces won't, you know, get all over the place. going to keep going around. Okay. And we just keep going. And then this one here will be our last tip. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want. It's entirely up to you. But I just think it really makes a difference. Everything's flat. So I'm going to look it over and it looks pretty even, so I'm just going to allow it to dry. Okay, so as you can see, I glued the snowflake onto the tag with Fabri Tac and I used a pretty good amount um, underneath. So then I decided I wanted to embellish this, but I don't want to completely cover up all of the pretty pink glitter that we put on. I just want to embellish it a little. And so I did find these in my stash and I bought these several years ago um, but over time the rhinestones kind of yellowed and it just looks kind of icky to me now. So I cut this off and I peeled off all of the rhinestones and the center part. Just like this. And I purchased these either on eBay or Amazon, but I don't think they're on eBay anymore. Anyway, I took all the rhinestones off. So all you were looking at was this. Right? So, um, that's what it looked like. And I went in my stash and found these beads and I always purchase these type of beads on, at Hobby Lobby for half off. I always wait for them to say Bead Design Company half off and which happens about oh twice a month and I used the larger ones because I wanted to make sure to 
cover up the glue. But before I glued these on with Fabri-Tac, I glued the little pearl uh, rhinestone embellishment in the middle. And the reason why I glued that on first is I wanted to make sure it had room. <laughs> and then I added these with Fabri-Tac. And I used quite a bit of Fabri-Tac behind um, this little embellishment in the middle. Okay? So, um, the next thing that we're going to do after this is dried, and this is just to give you ideas. You don't have to make this identical to mine, but, you know, it'll give you a few ideas. You know, instead of using the Fabri-Tac on this, thinking maybe a hot glue gun might be better because then I can instantly bond it to that. Yeah, so hold on and I'll get my hot glue gun. Okay, so I'm going to place this on our little snowflake. About like that. Okay, thinking about adding maybe a little bow, possibly a little embellishment there. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my voice. Hold on for a moment, please. Okay, yes, this is a little bow that I tied with um, 3 4 inch lace, and that's the, the hem lace, Wright's hem lace. And I'm just going to put a little dot of hot glue. Put it right here below the hole. Okay. And then I'm going to place another little dot of hot glue right here. Okay. I'm going to add this beautiful little 14 millimeter embellishment that I showed you in my AliExpress haul yesterday. And um, the link will be on my blog as well. Put that right here in the middle. Make sure not to cover up the hole. And um, so this is what we have so far. And then we're going to add some lace at the top. Okay. And I think for that I will use some more of the hem lace, yeah. You could also, instead of adding lace to the top, you could also add <clears throat> one of those little foam mounting stickers if you wanted to just place it on the package. I'm going to fold this in half. it doesn't really matter, does it? Now you know why you want that hole free and clear. Okay, there we go. That's better, huh? And we're gonna tie it. Just a simple little overhand knot. Pull this whole thing through. I'm going to cut it off. Pull this up to the top, really tighten it. And 
And then instead of leaving the little knot on the top, a lot of times what I'll do is this. I'll just kind of turn it, and then you can hide that knot, see, in the back. Just like that. So I think this turned out pretty cute. And uh, make a nice little gift tag for someone. And so I'll show you the second one. So for our next tag, we're going to need a little piece of um, a music sheet. And I have this hymnal book here from 1940. And I was fortunate enough to find it on eBay. And the lady sold it to me for $6.99 plus $4 shipping, something like that. So um, there's a lot here too. Take me forever to go through this. So I thought it would be a good idea to put um, a little strip of a music sheet, whatever you want. So all I did was take it like this and I just kind of pulled on it like that. And just hang on to it with one long pull. And then you're going to kind of measure where you want it and then cut off the ends like that. Now I already have one prepared. I just wanted to show you what I did. Okay. Put this up over here. And so for the outline to make it really pop I just took this metallic silver paint pen, and this is by Marvi Uchida. Okay, and I just went along the edges with a marker, and of course I allowed it to dry because you know it is paint. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is place it right about here, maybe a little um, askew this and I can tell more by where I want to place my skate so I think about here might be good so I'm going to lay this down and use the fabric tack and once again I am so sorry about my voice sounds terrible and I've had this like froggy throat for the last couple days doesn't hurt I don't feel sick in the least bit that it's just very froggy like could be the change of the weather too Okay, so I think about here would be good. Alright, so I'm going to place my skate there, but the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to add a couple more elements. I had this bag full of bits and pieces of Christmassy stuff, and so I took out a piece of silver fern and I thought well maybe I could place it like that and then I thought well I bought this little bundle of teeny weeny tiny pearls I think they're about a three millimeter at um, Hobby Lobby in the bridal section see like that and of course I know I paid off I paid half off for these because I always do um, so then I thought, well, maybe I could do this and then kind of add this on top. I thought that might look good. So I'm going to cut it right about here. I have to leave some of the, the paper so this won't come unraveled. And... 
so we're going to place these on right now this part anyway so I'll start I want it about here now I'm going to be taking hot glue for this because I want it to bond instantly came out of there kind of fast all right um, I'm gonna add the little pearls some on right here with the hot glue like that and then of course my little skate now I bought this little ornament from Hobby Lobby it was a package of I believe four of them I've got hot glue hanging on me and um, they were ornaments. I cut off the little, um, what do you call it, the little hanger part. And I added a little teeny weeny four millimeter rhinestone in the center of that little starburst. I know that they have the miniature skate ornaments at, Hob at uh, no, Hobby Lobby. At Walmart, I saw them you know the little miniature ornaments that are on cards there's usually four or six to a card well I saw them but they were in red I believe they were red skates and so I didn't pick them up red glittered skates but I'm sure you can find them here and there and you know um, different websites might have them so you have to look around for it and or you can use the um, cardboard ones and decorate your own they also have little wooden unfinished wooden skates that you can decorate so I'll place this right about here yeah about there and I'm going to place a three-fourths inch lace bow about here. I'm going to add a little embellishment to that as well. So I'm going to put a little a bit of hot glue on the back here. Okay, hold on here. I'll put this aside. My finger touched the nozzle, if you wondered why I jumped a little bit. <laughs> okay. Alright. And then I'm going to place this beautiful little embellishment that I showed you in my AliExpress haul yesterday. And I'll have the link for that. And this is what we have so far. Don't cover the hole. <laughs> You'll need to string some lace through. So let's um, do that next. Okay, so um, I tied another little piece of lace through this hole, just like we did the first one, and hid the knot. And so this is what you have. So I think they turned out pretty cute, and I had a lot of fun doing them, so you might too. And um, maybe you can glean some ideas from this and do your own. So with that said, thank you so much for watching my video. Have a beautiful Christmas, and may God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.